Welcome back to another part in this Python series on the Django framework. In this one we're going to carry on with the many-to-many -many relationships and creating that actual friends list. So in the last video we've got the methods defined to be able to create and remove a friend from our essentially friends list and now we're going to carry on with the sort of view that that is needed to uh, be used when the user clicks on, say for example, a button that takes them to a URL, which takes them to the view, which then creates their friend, or deletes it as the case may be. Now what we want to do is to find the URL, so I'm just going to do URL is the regular expression, so like this, I'm going to say it starts with uh, connect, and then a primary key that follows, so in parentheses, question mark, capital P, and then the parameter that I want to be passed into the view function, which is pk in this case, so it's just going to be a primary key integer that corresponds to the user that they want to connect to. And then what I'll do is backslash d plus, so one or more digits, and the question mark means be greedy. So if there's one digit that matches, but there's also two digits that match, the question mark says out of all the matches that I can take, I'm going to take the longest one, so as many uh, digits as I possibly can. So if there's only three digits in the primary key, for example, w without that question mark, it may just match the first integer in that, that sort of URL, but we want to select all of them, which is why the question mark's there. Now what I want to do is just finish that, so uh, forward slash dollar, and the view can be views dot we we'll need to import this in a second and create it, but this can be uh, connect or add friend, I guess. That's probably a logical thing to call it. Add friend, and I'll also name it the same. So add friend. Uh, we could do a similar one for uh, lose friend, but then we could potentially pass in... Uh, in fact, I'm also going to do another parameter here. So instead of doing two URLs and one for add and one for lose friend and then two different view functions, I can actually do that in the same view function by passing in another parameter here. So I'll just say uh, small brackets here, or parentheses rather, and here I'll say something similar, but I want to do, so question mark P and then uh, this is going to be the, so add or lose, so, uh, I don't know, operation, let's call it. Uh, so the friend operation, that's gonna be our, our variable name, that's the parameter pass into the view function. And then what I want to do is say anything and one or more of that. So instead of just matching digits or integers, I'm going to match any character. So it could be a letter or a number or anything that I particularly fancy passing into the URL. Now, uh, this, sh yeah, that should be fine. So it's going to be something like connect add three. So that's gonna add the uh, th user with primary key three to the current users, currently logged in users friends list. So uh, this probably isn't a good name now because I've just sort of added the operation. So uh, change friends. Let's call it change friends. That okay? Change friends, and now I'll define that view function. So this is just going to be view function. So uh, def uh, change friends, and it's going to take request as the first parameter. Operation. So it's going to be add or lose. It's just going to be a string probably, and pk is equal to. Yeah, just PK. And what what we want to do once we've done that is I'm just going to check that it works. So for now we can just redirect to the home page, for example. Uh, return, redirect. And of course we've already got this imported from here, so I'll just do the exact same thing. We don't need to import anything else. And then what we will need to do is import uh, this. So I need to do from views import uh, change friends. In fact, I think what's probably a better thing to do is just, just do from dot import views. So that's from the current directory, import the views file. So that's going to be containing the view function that we've just defined. So now, hopefully, if we go to that URL, 
we should be able to see uh, that redirects us to the home page. So I'm going to click on the profile page to make sure that we're not on the same page and then go to the URL we've defined which should be home, the operation which shouldn't matter as long as it's some characters and then the primary key which can be anything because it's always going to redirect at the moment. We haven't incorporated any logic. So I forgot to add the uh, connect because we did specify that as well. So connect, just be more explicit. And that does indeed redirect us to the home page. So that's fine, it means it works. Now what we want to do is actually incorporate the logic here. So what I want to do is I want to say if uh, operation is equal to add, then we are going to add the friend. So let's do a so we need to define the friend object. So friend dot or friend equals now what we will now what we want to do then is add the custom logic that allows us to add or lose friends using the logic we've defined in the models. So since this logic is on a model, we need a object or at least a uh, something to So now what we want to do is incorporate that custom logic into this particular view function. So Now what we want to do then is incorporate the custom logic in this view function that allows us to either make or lose a friend depending on the URL that we navigated to. So what I want to do is, because we've already got this logic here in the friend model, I want to utilize that in the view to be able to uh, do what I need to do. So I'm going to import, so from home.models import post and also friend, because uh, we're not using that yet in this file. And what I want to do is I just want to say, let's do friend dot make friends. Is that what I called it? So friend dot make friend. And then I'm going to pass in whatever it required. So in this case, as you can see, it's current user and new friend. They're both user instances. So let's pass in request dot user as well as the uh, friend, so the user instance for this primary key that's being passed in. So we should probably find that first and say new friend is equal to uh, user.objects.get primary key is equal to primary key. That will give us that user and then we can just pass in new friend. So that should allow us to call that method with the appropriate param parameters and so that will then do what we did last time and add the friend to the current user's friends list. Now if we want to remove a user we can do that as well by going to views and back here we can, to, we can just do another sort of if statement to say so if the operation is going to be equal to add so this is the first part of that URL. So if we look back at the URLs, we can see the operation is going to be add or remove. That probably makes sense. And we can check for that. So if it's add, we can do make friend. And then if it's not, so elif operation is equal to remove, then we can do friend dot lose friend. And of course they have the same parameters, so I'll just copy and paste that. Now going back to the model, I think that something else that may be handy to have on this model at some point is a sort of get friends list method, which can return a list of all the friends associated with any given user. But since we haven't got that logic yet, I think that would be useful to uh, be able to populate the actual friends list with and then all we've got to do is in the templates allow the user to navigate to the appropriate URL so either an add or lose friend URL with the appropriate prime appropriate primary key based on whichever user they decide to connect to so you can see in the bottom 
bottom left here that's three, four or seven respectively in this case for these particular user instances and then we should be able to eventually add them to the friends list. So in the, in the next video we're going to carry on with that sort of templating of the friends list.